All right, how you doing today? Today we're taking a look at Neil Peart drums. These are the drum kits from the Snakes and Arrows era of Neil Peart and Rush. And they were sampled by iKai Multimedia. And there was a bunch of drum grooves played by Neil himself, some famous songs and such. Anyways, this has been out a long time, but I just came across it when I got the IK Multimedia Max Pro, whatever it's called. I don't know, the whole everything they pretty much make software-wise. Also, please do subscribe to the channel. I have hundreds of other videos in my back catalog, all kind of music production stuff, Logic Pro stuff, free VSTs, and all that fun stuff. So check that out as well. Hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos coming out. And let's check this out. Playing here with the Logic Pro 11 bass player. And right now I just have loaded up the ghost grooves here. As you can see all the keys down here. You can trigger different audio loops. These are not MIDI, but these are audio loops. And you can play them at different tempos, two different ways. One, um, right now this is, I have it at the suggested 2122 tempo here. And if I play it with the, the bass here, basically you have to, well, first of all, first you have to trigger these just with a note. Like I said, it's not MIDI, you're just triggering the audio file. And I have the logic bass player here, Rock Legend. And we'll just play this loop here for you. Something like that. So there's, I believe there's 800 or so Neil's uh, playing parts and they, they have different songs on here. You could, you could tell the, the digital beat, digital man, um, free will and limelight, um, and a bunch of other songs in here. So you basically get him playing all the full song through. You just have to you know figure it out now. By figure it out, I mean there's all these different parts down here. And if I change the tempo, it's going to change the pitch of the drums. So check this out. Unless I go into the sample tank thing here and turn, where is it at? Type stretch. Now it's gonna stretch it out. It's kind of a, you know, not so intuitive. It's very uh, processy or takes a while to figure out how to use this older system of audio loops. Now if I change the tempo. get the same pitch when you slow stuff down look it's a little sometimes it gets a little crazy because you know it's slowing down speeding up works better than the slowing down is what I should say here but anyways we could also load kits I have a kit loaded up here and we could also load just symbols we could just load the kick drums they have multiple output so this one is just the Neil Park kit, then we have kicks, we have rides, snares. Sometimes I like some of the crashes and stuff that he has. So I just load that up and use it in different kits. But we have a basic, you know, kit laid out here. And then I'm triggering this with uh, the Logic Drummer. Some of the m mapping is different, so we'll just play it here.
course, you'd have to remap everything. And we got all those toms, of course, which is great. So rather interesting, and actually, let's just go over here. We can change the beat if we change the patch. Let's um, check out Free Will. I'm not sure how the odd time signatures and stuff work when you trigger them, but let's see what happens here. This one. Now, of course, the bass part is not, you know, playing exactly with it because I changed the beat and all that fun stuff, but this is at a faster tempo. I mean, of course, you could use these beats however you want. But it's pretty cool that you could have Neil play on one of your songs or a couple of your songs if you want to. That's pretty interesting. Or you could just use the, the drums programmed kits, program them yourself. All right, let's check out some of the Tom Sawyer stuff here. So I don't know, just something I was messing around with here. You can check it out. Like I said, there's so many other uh, things in here. A lot of different songs, subdivisions, Tommy, or Tommy. I guess that's Tom Sawyer. One Little Victory, perhaps, that one is. You can pretty much figure out the songs if you know you know the songs. And we got the Crush Kit, which is more a compressed kit. So I don't know, something worth checking out. I just got it here with the package... Uh, the total studio for max if you will the all the pretty much all their products so check it out let me know what you think that is all for now i will talk to you soon